Hi guys, this is Jess and I'm going to give you guys the full reading for those of you who are interested in the extended portion of this reading. All you have to do is click the link below in the description box and it'll take you straight there and you can look and see what else is in store for you guys. So if you're interested, yeah, click that link below and we can get started. Otherwise, on with your reading. Take care guys. Hi Gemini, this is Jess with your July 2018 reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Gemini, um, definitely coming into this month, I do see, and we're pro it's probably been going on since, since Taurus, you probably won't be able to get out of, it, out of it until we get into Virgo season, which is the end of August going into September. There's been a lot of snake attitudes, snake energy going on. Um, like there's been opportunities for you to kind of divert problems, drama. Um, if there's been a lot of competition, there's now no competition. Almost it's like you're gaining your strengths. You're beating out minions because it looks like they weren't even, you know, it wasn't even competitive to begin with. It's almost like destiny. You know, it's like looking at someone 10 years before you're going to spend the rest of your life with them. And you happen to know it. It's that energy, right? And so what do you do with that? You see them running around and people, you know, their player and everything like that. But then you know, we're going to get married and we're going to spend the rest of our life together. So you just sit back because you just know it's just a matter of time. It's that kind of energy. Um, obviously, we play differently in everyone's life. But it's that kind of energy of like, what's for you is what is for you. No one can touch it. And you know that now. Some of you know that now because you're getting confirmations with the synchronicities of life. Okay. However, um, I do see, or things may be going well for you. If it's not to that extreme, um, things could be going well for you. You just may feel as though, you know, a lot of things are not touching you. You uh, maybe it may have been chaos around you, but when you come around, you can kind of solve the problem. You can ease the issue. Um, you're getting over some form of feeling conflicted to some extent. Um, I wanted to say this because I said, let me say it before I forget some of you and I get more Gemini men, you are truly starting to realize that your libido is getting you in trouble. And no, I don't mean like, you know, irregular erectile syndrome and that sort of thing. No, it, it the problem is, is that you can't say no. You know, someone or a circumstance always gets you in trouble. You fall for it every time. Or I should say give in to because Gemini's don't fall for anything. You guys are extremely aware. So there's a giving into the circumstance every time. And you're starting to realize that this is a problem. Because for one, you're going to wind up dying doing this. Yes, this is. And I don't usually tell Gemini's this ever. Usually I have to have this talk with Scorpios. But Gemini, some of you may go on a date, get a mate, be with someone right now that has some form of an infection. Um, I feel like it's something that can kill you. It's not something. And I know some people are like, why would you say this? Because death is as as short as breathing. So these conversations should be had. Um, and that's why you're listening, right? To try to see if there's something that is relatable and perhaps take some information and be able to safeguard yourself. And this would be a time to do that. So some of you may have completely changed your player card because you got something, okay? This may not be something that you can kind of get rid of for some of you. You may have this your whole life. It may be at a detriment to some of you guys. If you're thinking this, like, I think I just need to slow down because, you know, I had a scare or someone told me a story. You need to slow down. This is your advice. Uh, some of you may be going to the clinic because you're trying to figure out women. You do seem like you're infected. OK, uh, with something. So and the news is not going to be good. And your challenge is being able to either get a cure like it's something in that's not curable. It's treatable. You'll be able to get it treated but it's not, you're not going to be able to cure it, unfortunately. Okay. Because when you were out and about, it could have been, it could have been since September of 2017. If you've been single, if you've been cheating or you've been dealing with somebody else, this karma caught up to you. And so some of you are definitely dealing with this karma. I'm sorry to have to start this video off this way, but it is the truth. 
and I see it strongly in the present energy. Um, so if you're feeling some kind of way that does not feel normal, go get yourself checked out. Okay. Now, um, others of you, there may be uh, complications with pregnancy. So my condolences, if that is the case for some of you, I have to also say that because I do see it. Uh, please, if you can, if don't, you know, try to overcome the pain, the hurt, the loss, if there was one associated, because that may have been the only issue why your relationship may f have cracks. The foundation turned from cracks to literally breaking up and then you get a divorce and all of that um, from a life that really um, wasn't supposed to come to the earth. So I, I, I understand, you know, my, my heart goes out to you. Um, I've not been in that situation, but I can just imagine how painful that could be. But it does look like I just see a couple at odds or not being able to kind of get back on track because of this situation that it wasn't your fault or the other person's fault unless there was some you know trauma associated that came directly from the other person now aside from all of that i had to kind of get the the main bulletin news out so we can move forward nicely others of you um there may be again good opportunities in the workplace things are moving nicely for you you may see that you're able to kind of maneuver through a lot of things uh, so there could have been an end to a job, but you were saved. It didn't hit you. Some challenging news happening at the workplace that some of you are still trying to kind of uh, deal with. There could have been a, a passing at the workplace. I do see death coming around Gemini energy here. Uh, and there's someone being consoled through it. OK, uh, and a mother is devastated over it. So and it could have something to do with a community um, but it brings the community together. If it was at the workplace, it brings the workplace together. If it's the family, it brings the family together. Okay, I'm off of it. All right. I've said, I, 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 excuse me, I've, I've, I've explained every scenario there. Now, at the workplace, some of you may be feeling like things are not justified, like somebody wronged you, someone did something wrong. You may have to, you may be trying to balance your work before you go on vacation. Uh, just trying to make sure that you stay on top of everything to get things off your plate. Someone could have reported you or, complained about something and now you're like god damn it i'll you know i'm gonna do everything you know gemini it's just like do not criticize a gemini whatever you do <laughs> so i get like um someone feeling like they were treated wrong and now they're going to get to a point where there's nothing anyone could ever say against them at the workplace okay or some of you could be like final warning, that sort of thing is what I see. Uh, external to you in the workplace, you may find, if you're looking for work, you may find that it's, it's a hell of a hard time, even though, you know, um, it's a hell of a hard time to get work, to get your compensation, uh, but you're not going to stop. Your typical Gemini energy, you, you have a goal, you're going to reach it. Now, uh, I do see there's offers coming to you that will be very solid offers. So this is a time to get out there and go, look, I, I wasn't saying that to Taurus. Actually, I was saying in reverse. There's a lot of delays for other signs, but for you, the doors look open. Second part of July, for those of you working, it looks like it's going to be really good. You may start a job and, and get on a job and you're working like, you know, a lot. Um, so whatever you've put your mind to, um, you, it's delivered at, at the workplace. Um, you got caught up and now you're really focusing on new projects, the next project. Um, it seems like you guys have an ultimate scheme and plan because Gemini's are always scheming and planning. You have Scorpio on the sixth house, so that's your daily work and activity. So you're always finding a strategic way to get everything done. That's just how you that's how you work. You can't help it. Uh and so you may already be planning to impress the, the supervisor, to move to another level, that sort of thing. And so that's your new focus will be that if you have your own business, looks like it's going to be really good. You may find that you're very, very busy, but there may be some legal issues that come about that you don't find favorable for you. You may have to go back and fix something legally. Um, yeah, legally, you may have to go back and fix something, jury duty, something like that you have to deal with. Uh, and so the second week for business, it looks like you're going to money will be coming in. It'll be business as usual, you know, nothing too extreme, but you'll be focusing on your business while behind the scenes working on a new project that you're going to un, un, 
you know, release later on down the line is what it looks like. So the outcome to the July looks completely different and um, informative. So if you want to look into that, click the link below. Uh, now let's get into love. When it comes to love, some of you, as I said, there was this, this could, there could be the situation where um, it's now kind of time to get with a particular person, someone that, you know, there may have been issues in the past. You couldn't make it work. Someone could have cheated. There was a whole lot of people in the past um, interfering in the relationship. There was no growth here. Um, there may have been a, a, a breakup and not being able to kind of make things work. Um, you could have reached out and then it was a no go. And now the person is open to possibly you coming back around again. You may feel to some extent, uh, what do you call it? Jaded. If the person comes back around to you because you feel like, oh, now you want me. Well, why? Well, a lot of it has to do with, um, timing, karma, uh, and timing. It was a specific time for the two of you to be together. This person, your mate, or this, I get like, this is a person that you're trying to kind of get things off the ground. They may have tried to dip their head back into you. There was a good rapport, but you, neither one of you are making each other, uh, um, a priority if that makes any sense right now you're really focusing on your individual lives you may have like school work court issues something that you have to deal with that's making you focus on that um, again you could have reached out to the person um, you may find that they're being a little bit more receptive to you um, they want something real with you for some Gemini's they really do they want something real it's gonna you know uh, in the first two weeks, is it going to happen? Um, someone may say, someone may go as far as say, move in with me. I want, I want you to move in with me, be with me or come, you know, visit me, something about coming to a home. So come visit me, that sort of thing. There's some laying down your guards when it comes to someone who wants something real with you, but you won't realize it right now. Some of you Geminis are still in that player mode, you know, player at mode and you're still trying to, you're still doing the same thing. Like, okay, I'll talk to you, but I'm talking to him and, or her, you know, and the person, I really get this from like Gemini women though. Um, and the person is serious. So some Gemini women could be, a, have really called in or called back in someone that's serious. They know what they want. They know who they are and it's you. And it has always been you. The problem is, is that you, you, nine times out of 10, a Gemini knew but it was like, listen, this is not what I want. I mean, it's like, thank you. But I mean, I mean, it's just too many people out here. Are you kidding me? Like that type of thing. You know, it could just be like, you're just not ready. And therefore there's someone that's just like, you're going to be mine. Just quit playing and give into it already. And then in July, you just still may not be ready. You know, at least the first two weeks, you may still not be ready to give into that person and they're fine they're going to keep working and doing what they need to do until you get your head out of the clouds and you get with the program because for some of you it's inevitable for you to be with this person it's inevitable um be careful gemini woman you've got to be careful if you're out there with these men some of you it could be a game changer because again you caught something and it scared the heck out of you and it's like oh damn it now i'm this person's come back into my life they're such a good person and now i'm foul i'm kind of spoiled like you know, I'm, I'm, I'm suffering with this problem, that sort of thing. So some of you could be dealing with that as well, as well as I see that I see others of you, if you have like a very serious committed relationship, you live together, you may find that this energy is really good at this time. Um, sex may not have been on the menu for you guys for some time because you could have been at odds. Uh, you're putting that to bed and you may be, you know, picking up, what, is it, what do they say? Not picking up, making up for lost time. Of course, the Leo energy is here. Leo energy is always here. <laughs> so, you know, this dynamic between Gemini's and Leo's. Uh, and so I do see that some of you may feel as though um, you've tried, you've tried and tried and tried to, you know, stay, stay in there with this relationship. Um, and you may feel like this person now needs to come to you. Uh, but... They could be stubborn, your mate, and you have to go to them once again. Um, and I feel like they're going to be more receptive. They have been re more receptive. Uh, I do see that, again, work, career, day-to-day -day life, other obligations, responsibilities is going to take 
um, front and center stage than, you know, um, the relationship. But it looks like some of you are going to definitely um, make up for lost time. Some Gemini men are going after a woman intently or men going after a Gemini woman. Um, but it's very like childish to some extent. There will be some exes coming back for you singles out there. It's just really wanting your time. Some of you are really work focused right now. You may feel like, you know, again, I keep kidding and I hate to keep saying this. You may keep getting like, you know, there's something you're not telling someone and they're not going to be telling you. And I just feel like it has a lot to do with um, an STD or something like that. So be very careful. So that's what I kind of have for you guys for the first two weeks of July. If you'd like to look deeper of how all of this stuff is going to play out for you and to get a one-to-one -one, um, look into you and your mate and how you feel about each other and what the outcome is going to be, check out the link below for, for the um, link to the full part of this reading. Otherwise, you can let us know how this reading relates to you in the comment section below. You know, we'd love to hear from you. If you would like something personal with me, I can reach in the beginning and end to this video. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Gemini.